Well, hello everybody. This is Street Outlaws No Prep Talk. Today we're going to talk about the No Prep Kings racers at World Series of Pro Mod after qualifying and eliminations, and Chuck Fifty Five moving on. Now, photo girl, that's right. Lead to the photo owners. Please subscribe and comment, and stay tuned for a lot more videos coming. All about the Street Outlaws No Prep Kings race series and all the other Street Outlaw shows. So we had two No Prep Kings racers that qualified for the thirty-two car field, a hundred thousand dollar to win. World Series of Pro Mod Race. Chuck55 in the PJS Racing Pro Mod. And Mike Bowman in his Chevelle Pro Mod. So both of those cars got into the show. Mike Bowman with a 366, I believe. And Chuck55 with a 364. So very impressive ETs. Chuck55, I think, was 14th. And Mike Bowman, 28th, I think. And they actually raced each other in the first round of the $100,000 to win race. Neither of them made a full pass. It was pretty ugly, but Chuck55 won, and he advanced to the next round. Now, it really sucks that the two NPK racers ended up racing each other, but, hey, at least we have one NPK racer moving on to the next round, and he has a car that can win. I mean, the field is so tight right now that anybody in the top 16 can win, I believe. So it's going to be one hell of a race. We still have round two, round three, round four. So we still have a couple of more rounds. And I'm rooting for Chuck 55. I got to root for the NPK racer. And Brandon Pess, Cole Pess, the whole PJS team. I mean, that car is fast. They're making a lot of power. And hopefully they do good. And Mike Bowman did pretty good. He actually raced this race last year. And he struggled. I think he didn't qualify. But he qualified in the toughest field of an 8th mile 32 car pro mod race ever. The bump spot last season was a 368 with a 2. I think this year was a 366. So it definitely got faster. But kudos to Mike Bowman. He definitely did really good. Now Justin Swanstrom struggled. He did not qualify in Q4 yesterday. He actually blew up the motor. I think uh, Rod broke and went through the block, so that really sucks, or through the oil pan actually. And he did really good in testing. He actually went 207 miles an hour in testing, as you may see from this time slip, but he struggled on qualifying. He only went a 373 at 197, and another one in Q3, I think, at 198. He beat J.R. Gray, so that was awesome to see. And I know with more time, more preparation, they will get that car figured out. And he for sure will get into another Pro Mod race probably at the end of the year. And he's going to do good. So I'm thinking they learned a lot from this outing. Especially first time running a screw-blown Pro Mod. Because Corey has already ran Pro Mod in the past. And Justin as well. And that whole team but this is the first time with a screw blown pro mod and this is the baddest race there is so they did pretty good in my book 